today I'm bringing you closure because the review is in. And if you were here earlier, which man, I really hope that you were, um, you've probably seen the video called, uh oh, an unexpected service call, something broke. And in that video, I talk about how my air conditioner broke in my Airbnb over the July 4th holiday. And it was a pretty inconvenient time for me as a person to deal with that situation. But I did it, I got it taken care of, and, and now the guests have left the review, so we're gonna read that review. Um, if you haven't seen the video, pump the brakes, I wanna set the stage for you. Um, do not watch this video any further, go back and see the other one, and then I'll wait right here, and when you come back, we'll just pick right up where I left off. You're back, okay, that was quick. Let's get into this review. The review is in. But I think I'm gonna give you a review or a recap of the last video anyways, just because I feel like maybe not all of you went back and watched that other video. Um, so it was the Friday before 4th of July weekend. It was um, the storm of the decade rolled through where I live and knocked out the power and wrecked the whole city, it seems like. Um, so I was without power for 52 hours. Um, all my food was melting. My wife and kids fled to go stay with a friend. I was, you know, taking care of the house and a few chores before I was going to go join them. I feel like society as a whole was getting ready to collapse because, you know, you go three days without eating and then people are basically, you know, out there riding and purging in the streets, which, you know, we were close to. We were almost there, but not all the way. Um, and in the middle of all that, we had the uh, guests that were down at my Airbnb texted me and said that the air conditioner was out. Four o'clock on a Friday, a holiday weekend. Difficult time to find somebody to take care of stuff, but I got it taken care of uh, within two hours, two hours, 15 minutes or so of being notified that we had a problem. I had an email in my receipt that it was corrected, paid for, done, everybody's happy. Um, and I really am looking forward to what the guests had to say about their experience. So. Without further ado, let's read it. <clears throat> okay. Great place for our family vacation. Plenty of space and the host was very responsive and great, work, great to work with. House was exactly as described and so many amenities to use would definitely recommend. Booyah! That's the review I was hoping for. Um, I was really hoping for a great positive review from them. Um, and they did specifically mention that the host was very responsive and great to work with. So that's me. They're giving me a thumbs up there. Um, overall, everybody I think involved was super chill about this whole thing. So um, obviously the guests were very cool because they paid a lot of money to stay at my place. And then the air conditioner crapped out on day two of their six day vacation, which um, could, you know, that's a pretty negative thing to um, to experience. So they let me know about it. I had to scramble and find a couple, you know, call a few phone numbers. Eventually I found a great company to come out and take care of it immediately. And they were great to work with and they took care of everything. So I'm super happy to have them in my Rolodex of uh, referrals to use now. And then, you know, I think I handled it really well. Yeah, it was pretty stressful and I definitely went and stressed ate some Popeye's chicken after uh, after the whole thing was done. But uh, we got to take care of. Everybody was cool. Everybody was happy. I got a great review out of it. Um, and, you know, I think next time something goes wrong, it can't possibly be at a worse time than what I was experiencing. Um, I'm not going to ever say ever, but, um, you know, I feel like that's going to be one of the all-timers for, like, bad timing awards. Um, so, really, I just wanted to make a follow-up video if you're thinking about short-term rentals or doing short-term rentals, um, just know that yes, things are going to go wrong and they're probably going to go wrong at an inconvenient time. But if you just step away, handle your business and get it taken care of, you can still get a great review out of it. You can still have a positive experience for everybody involved. I saved somebody's family vacation. If I uh, hadn't been able to get the air conditioner fixed, they may have left. They may have demanded the refund. Certainly would have been entitled to one. Um, I would have been super bummed about it, so I'm just glad it really worked out the way it did. And I just wanted to make a follow-up video um, for everybody so you know. Um, 
so you can get some closure, so you can sleep at night, so you can stop checking my page constantly, asking me for the reviews and, and what's happening <laughs> and all that stuff. So um, that's it for me. And today, if you'd do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, share, come on back, because we're going to be doing other cool things about the short-term rentals behind the scenes. Um, let me know what you want to know, and I'll make a video about it. But until then, I love each and every one of you. Have a great rest of the day.